Hello, it's that time of year again where everything becomes entirely unfit for humans, at least here in Chicago, which is why I'm dressed like Han Solo slash Jon Snow from Game of Thrones slash an Ewok. The thought of slashing an Ewok is mildly amusing. Um, but, yes, I'm dressed like this just for effect. It's not cold in my apartment right now, um, though I am low on clothes, as you can probably see by my laundry basket behind me. Um, but speaking of clothes, not just this coat now in my arsenal, um, but I also have these in my arse and all, and uh, they're very useful. Uh, they keep me very warm as I'm walking down the streets of Chicago. It hasn't yet reached the very cold levels that it's going to get, um, but I have made the decision here and now to embrace uh, the winter this year. I tend to say that every winter, at the start of winter, um, and then January turns up and, you know, I'm still there. I'm still hanging in, uh, warmed up by the Christmas cheer that just passed, um, and then February hits. So... It's all about February, you know, I'll embrace it, st I will embrace it even then. I'm going to be, you know, a champion of Chicago winter. I might even do the Lake Michigan Challenge. That's where you jump into Lake Michigan for charity, you know, and I have a charitable side. We've all seen it, right? I'm very giving. And what if I give you the gift of seeing me jump in Lake Michigan in the height of winter? I might regret saying that. Perhaps I'll use a canoe uh, that might upturn, which would be horrifying anyway this coat is amazing i mean it's kept me warm so far and i suspect it will uh for the rest of the winter although it hasn't really dropped below zero too often yet but i can already tell it will keep me warm you know in conjunction with a sliced tauntaun i could find one that's an animal from star wars that hand slices open to keep him and luke warm i don't have a lightsaber well not one that's functioning or real for that matter Anyway, let me know how you're going to embrace winter this winter, if indeed you choose to, even those of you that live in Florida. I'd love to spend a winter in Florida, wouldn't that be good? And if you have any recommendations for other ways in which I can keep warm, I have my thermal gloves, they're back there. I have a face mask, uh, though the last time I wore that I looked like a member of the IRA. So I've got to be careful, <laughs> don't want to get deported. And those of you that live in Alaska or Minnesota or Canada, why not tell me in the comments just how much I'm overreacting again? Because I, I know I am. But you know, all right, it might be colder where you are, but I've come from a land where it's like Oregon for the most part. So uh, this it's still a shock to the system, even after all these years. I could get a dog to snuggle up with. <laughs> not in that way, just in, in, in the sense of keeping warm. I'm kidding. Cat. Jealous. Thanks for watching and thank you as ever to our patrons who you can see flashing up on the right hand side here. If you would like to support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash lost in the pond. If you're interested in hearing my other thoughts on the Chicago winter, why not watch this video right there and slap my cold stupid little face to subscribe. Thank you.